Hi, my name is Lauren Carter Riley. I am the creator and lead actor of Sunday at Warden, and now I'm going to give you a behind the scenes look at the wardrobe for season two. We, in this new season, have a totally different location. We have totally different objectives. We have a different cast of characters that are coming in and out. And obviously that called for a totally different wardrobe from what we saw in season one. Season one Sunday was very much trying to fit into sort of an old school style, um, something that she's kind of kept up for now a decade of her life. And I think that now she's on her own, she's finding her own path. I wanted to play with different shapes, different patterns, different silhouettes, colors. I think a lot of season two is going to be her figuring out who she is without a husband in her life, without her father telling her what to do. I think there's also going to be a little bit of delayed adolescence with her choices. So I went for something that was maybe a little younger, maybe a little funner, a little bit looser. Obviously, we still, you know, take her back to her roots. We have some animal print, we have some kind of darker colors, but for the most part, I was really drawn to kind of more feminine patterns this season. So things like gingham, things like paisley print, things like kind of lighter crinoline type things. She also spends more time in the countryside. Um, I don't know if Sunday would be considered a country girl or a nature person, but she ends up there, so she would have to have something to wear. Um, and it was really fun figuring out what a city girl from Long Island would think you wear at like a country estate in England. I still pull really strongly from the 90s when it comes to Sunday's wardrobe, um, but I think the color palette has changed. I think that the sort of woman has changed. I think we've gone from kind of something more like maybe like a Goodfellas or a casino. I think now the inspirations that I have are more like the parent trap. Um, if anybody knows Hilda Hurricane, there's a really famous Italian TV show that's very popular on TikTok. Um, I was drawn to a lot of her wardrobe. There's lots of shorter things this season, which I don't think we had. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there are lots of shorter dresses that we have this season, kind of baby doll dresses, some kind of lighter sun dresses. Uh, Sunday didn't really show her legs in the first season. There's a couple of episodes, I think, that she had a shorter dress on, but ultimately she was very much a long dress person. And I think that's because she was attempting to look more mature, more older, put together. And now she's sort of a little bit untethered um, and her choices will reflect that. And I think her wardrobe choices will too, because uh, she really didn't get her 20s. She got married very young and she didn't get that experimental time. I think a lot of young women do where you play with fashion, you maybe make a couple of mistakes, you wear things that are maybe a little inappropriate um, because you're young and you're figuring out what is, you know, uh, proper office attire. Now that I'm looking at some of these, it's a little bit less um, mom from Parent Trap and a little bit more Cher from Clueless. But I think the combination of those two characters are definitely going to be something to watch out for because uh, I think Sunday is both still a mom, you know, she has her kids, she has her adoptive kids, but she's also kind of still a kid herself and she's gonna have to grow up really, really quickly and, you know, deal with things now in her 30s that she didn't really experience in her 20s and that's gonna be, you know, a fun fun moment for everyone. There are lots of new struggles. There are lots of new secrets being revealed. There are a couple new boys. Um, those are always exciting. And there's a lot of different situations that you have to, you know, have a ready wardrobe for. So thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. I'm going to go put these back in the lineup where they're supposed to be and check out the newest season of Sunday O'Rourden premiering June 1st.